Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will show you how to use Gemini 3 for web design. If you want to create a quick prototype of a web page, you no longer need to use Figma for that. You can start with Gemini and provide the following instructions. First, you need to provide the right settings in the prompt window. Make sure you enable Canvas, it's Gemini's visual and generative UI output area, and choose the Gemini 3 thinking model. It will provide the more robust output. Next is your prompt. I suggest structuring the prompt in the following format. First, context. Explain what you want to build in one or two sentences. Second, requirements. List all requirements for a web page in a bullet list format. And finally, output. Explain desirable output for the tool. Here is an example of a prompt for a landing page. As you can see, I'm using XML-inspired format for the prompt. It works well not only for Gemini 3, but also for ChatGPT. Let's submit it to Gemini and see what we will get. Gemini will generate the source code of the future page. And the great thing is that it also shows a preview of the page right in the canvas. You can jump between code and preview to understand the nuances of a web page design. Another cool thing is basic interactivity. You can spot the subtle animated effects, such as button hover animation. In case you want to share a preview with someone else, you can simply share a link to the canvas. Click Share and copy the link. Open a link in a browser and you will see this design. And that's all. Hope it was helpful. If you have more examples of using Gemini 3 for web design, please share them in the comments. Thank you for watching.